right guys, I'm back again. My name's Henry Martin, Catching Dinosaurs Guide Service. Um, today we're out here to play with some uh, buffalo and we're gonna be fishing range cubes. I know that's not what I'm holding, but I got one big rod, which is this nice big perch. So I'm gonna toss him out real quick. Okay, we're just gonna keep one big rod out there just in case something big wants to come along. Okay guys, so I'm out here and I bought range cubes. This is about $11 for these and we're gonna go ahead and chum the spot with these. So we're gonna do that real quick. Oh, go that way. Aimed kind of towards that tree, but down. All right, so I'm gonna take a handful of these and I'm just gonna kind of toss them out that way. All right guys, so I wanted to show y'all today how you could fish these range cubes without actually having to buy any other bait. You could just use these and you can catch fish with just these. So let's talk real quick, why range cubes? These are full of seeds and proteins and a whole bunch of molasses and these break down in about 10 to 15, 30 minutes in the water and they attract a whole lot of carp, especially buffalo. These are particularly effective on buffalo. So I've got a few things here today. I've got Gamagatsu G-Carp size four hooks, and I've got dental rubber bands. I think I would go one size bigger next time I bought them, but what I'm doing is I'm putting them over the range cube and I'm slipping my hook underneath that. So I'm kind of bridling it. All right guys, that was super easy. I just put the rubber band over the range cube, put my size four G-Carp Gamagatsu hook straight through the rubber band. And I'm just gonna toss that out on the top of my range cubes. And whenever I get a bite, I'm gonna set them. Really hard, but since these are buffalo, I'm gonna go for the bottom lip. So I'm gonna set low into the side and see if I can get that bottom lip. For my gear, I've just got a Cast King uh, drop shot rod. I've got some 15 pound braid and a little 3000 Cast King reel. I'm just gonna put these right on out where I put that chum, right about there. I'm gonna put them in this rod holder. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with this. My my setup is the exact same, 3,000 size reel, Cast King drop shot rod, Speed Demon Pro. Give it a little toss right about there. Wanted to show you all this real quick. I uh, threw some of the range cubes in really shallow water and not even five minutes, this is what it's turned into. So as you do this more, you might find that the range cubes actually break up at a different pace. I used some the other day that did not break up for almost an entire hour. So you can kind of play with it and see how long you want it to actually break up. But yeah, once it does that, a carp can come along and just kind of mess it all up and go through there and pick out the stuff that he wants to eat. And that's all making a ton of chum and smells and everything else that's drawing them in from really far away. Whenever you're out here and you're starting to get them chummed up, you're going to notice them rolling and jumping on top of where your chum is. So once you see that, you know that you're getting a little bit closer to actually catching one. Alright, so we're hooked up on our first fish. Ooh, I thought we almost lost him. Take your time with him. That looks like... Sure, I thought so. Don't go quite as low when you go down. Nope, that's a buff. Oh. Yeah, Here, let's walk out there together. Here, Marlon, let me help you. Let me get on the end. We'll do it. You get some? Oh, no, it wasn't coming. Here. Okay, so we're going to get it right. Ooh. Here, come back my way a little bit. Come back. Come back on the net a little bit. Yeah, right about there. Where's he at? It is a common. So bring him back over here. Okay, loosen up your grip just a little bit. Let me be able to move. Yeah, it is strong. <laughs> Walk up here as you reel down. You can come step right behind. No, we'll wait. We'll let him come over here. Uh, What's wrong? Got my hoodie caught on the reel. Okay. What? There he is. Yeah. Our first one of the trip, missing a scale. All right, now we're gonna get this, turn him, turn him, turn him. We're gonna get it right underneath him, okay, Marlon? Yeah. And turn him, yep, just like that, then up. Perfect, now walk back. All right, watch out, Marlon. We're gonna leave him right here, okay?
Yeah. Let's just check them out real fast. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get it out. You need, you need plywood real quick? You're missing a couple scales. Missing a couple scales. Let's go like right there with that. This is our first common carp of the day. It's probably about 12 pounds, I'm going to say. Somewhere in there. It's a really nice fish. She's a little beat up, but we're going to go ahead and let her go on home. There she goes right there. She already gone. We'll do it on the next one, okay? Alright, I'm rebaiting. That's what I'm doing. Just a uh, little rubber band and a little size 4 Kamigatsu G carp hook. Did you catch it, Marlin? <laughs> Don't, you got to keep it up higher. Good job, dude. Oh, don't don't go quite. No, you're good. Just don't go quite so low, okay? Just keep it nice and tight. Wow, she's burning to the right. Look at how fast she's going to the right. That's fine. Just let her go. I'll help you. Let me get on it for a second. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can turn her back. If I can't, then we'll go that way and fight her over there, okay? Yeah. Okay, I think I stopped her. So you can go ahead and get back on it. Wow. Wow, dude. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wow. No, man. That might be a new glass ball. That might have been a buff, a huge one. Did you see that run? At least. <laughs> and guys, y'all saw that. That was obviously a giant. It just shows to show you when you fish for these carp, you really don't know what you can hook up. That could have been 50, 60 pounds even. Well, we don't want a spider. All right, guys, we're hooked up again. Second one. Marlon, we need the net. I have it. Oh, it might be a grass carp. What? You can't have a huge grass carp. Okay, take your time. Take your time. Don't go too high with the rod. Turn him back to the left. Whoa. Okay, swing him. No, Marlon, don't do that. Come back here. We might lose this guy. I don't want to lose him. Did I get him? No. He's huge. Get his head up if you can. Woo! Right, let's see if we can get him. Turn him. Turn him back this way. Marlon, come out of the water, dude, please. All right, you want to come get it on with on me with me? Come get on the net, Marlon. Yeah, keep him on that side. That's probably like 40 pounds or something. Tighten you up just a tiny bit. Yeah, stop fighting. Stop. Alright, turn on. Alright. Watch out, she's coming over us again. Here, come back right where my hands are. I don't need you way down there. We need to be able to extend it some. So try to do like rolls that turn his head. Careful, watch out, you're hitting this. You gotta go over that. You let her come stand next to me. I'm really tired. Uh, he, sh he should be tired too. Good, good job. That's a giant. Alright, oh, don't go so far. Down. All right, let's see if we can get him. Turn him, turn him. And then turn him kind of like this, and he might be able to turn his head. Don't go. Over Mary might snag it on me. I'm trying. But I know, I know. Every time away. I know, he's strong. I, it's funny, they don't always fight that hard. Ooh, keep that coming, keep that coming. Keep that Try coming. Him. Oh, try, dude. He's really big. Don't go so far down. I'm trying. Keep up, keep up. Keep up. I gotta move this one. All right, guys, on that range cube, we hooked up a huge grass carp. This thing's like 40 something pounds, maybe. We're trying to land it, but we're just not having much luck. It is really, really, really strong. I'm putting this 15 pound braid to the test right now. So Marlon, with the net, you want to get the net under the fish and you want to get the head in, okay? Why don't you stay back here though, because I don't want you going for it way out there. I know. I'm just gonna stay right here. Yeah. 
I'm gonna help you do it too. We should have her beat here in a second. I knew there were grassers. It just keeps getting more energy. Just grinding line. The strongest carp I've caught in a long time. I guess you caught it, but. Strongest carp you caught. Yeah. Yeah, we might not even catch it. There was at least like three times where I was like, oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it. Come on, I can't give up now. Alright, so come, come back a little arms. bit, Marlin. Come back, come back. I need to be able to grab the end of it whenever it's time, okay? Right now I'm just kind of palming it. You just keep creeping no, forward. I don't want you to creep forward. Just wait. Stop. Whenever we're ready, she's gonna come right to us, okay? So just stand right next to me. Just listen, okay? We can't, we're not gonna be able to just get her. I already tried, she's too big. We're gonna have to be able to get her whenever she's actually tired. If I can get her head in, I think we'll be all right. All right, I stopped her that time. I'm gonna try to pull her in here. She's coming. She's coming, oh, she turned around. Okay, so this is what I was talking about with her head. So now I'm gonna pull this way. And I turned her head. See how she's changed? And now I'm gonna pull this way. See, I changed her head completely. Yeah. Now I'm gonna try to pull this way. This is just very strong, and I'm not. That's strong. the part where I can't get her. Is the last turn. She just gets me every time. Yeah. All right, here we go. The boss level. He at the boss level. It's boss. Here she comes. What the heck? You can't get me. What the heck? These are not supposed to be in the river. These are actually from Asia. They're technically invasive. They put them into Lake Austin to control the vegetation, and they were supposed to not be able to breed. And instead, she's coming closer and closer. Instead, they started breeding like crazy, and then in the floods, it pushed them into Town Lake and then slowly into the Colorado River. And now they're going further and further south. They eat grass pretty much. I just cannot turn her head no matter how hard I try. Man, she's so strong. No, you're good. It's funny because some of them actually don't. Wait, let go, let go. Okay, she's actually about to come off. I'm gonna have to get her. I'm gonna go get her on the next one. Okay. The issue is Marlin, because you're like on it, I can't just grab it and do what I need to do with it. You're like too firm with it. It's gotta be, she might come off. I saw where she hooked, it's like on the outside. Can you go get my phone, Marlon? Oh, I'm using this. I don't know. Like, it's probably three foot. We could get a measurement. I think she's at least 14 foot. She's actually called a Amur carp. It's not technically a grass carp. That's just what people call them. Just unplug it and put the charger back over there. Wait, you got the... All right, yeah, go put that back real quick. All right, let's go ahead and get him. All right, you take a couple. You got him? Get a little closer now and get one or two more. I'm gonna get one of those like, fish. Okay, should we should be good. We'll put her down. It's a good idea though. All right, let's get a measurement. She can breathe, right? Yeah, she's breathing, but they, I don't think they're as tough as some fish. She's about, she's longer than I thought. About 41 inches. Call it 41. Right. I love this fish. She's so beautiful. Alright, guys, this is really neat. I actually knew there had to be grass carp down here and I hadn't actually caught one. So, as far as I'm concerned, super, super cool. My daughter caught this one. It's probably at like 30 something pounds. It fought us like absolutely crazy hard. Try to clean her off real quick. 
But yeah, I'm gonna get this thing back and hopefully she'll release for us just fine. We never did take it out of the water, but man, look at how fat she is. Oh, there she goes. All right, guys, we got a good storm coming in, so we're gonna go ahead and get on out of here a little quicker than we had hoped, but I wanted to show y'all real quick what this stuff looks like as it's breaking down. Just kind of a little wet morsel of food, and as it breaks down, it's a little bit easier for them to get in their mouths, but hope that helped y'all out. In case y'all didn't want to buy corn and range cubes, hope this helps you out to uh, get away to get on the water and catch some big old fish. Good luck out there, guys. If y'all don't mind, hit that like button. If you vibe, subscribe. See you next time.